Greetings and salutations, YouTube. Uh, back here again, doing some network testing. Actually, I'm back here again at the marina because I made a grave error in speed testing testing. So I made a mistake and I needed to come back here to rectify this mistake. So as you can see, I'm back here at the marina again and we're gonna find out actually what Verizon is actually doing here because on my last video, um, that it, I was on the wrong network. So that's the freeway, uh, the BW Parkway over there. So when I get ready to do my video test, I come down that and keep towards the airport. Uh, the airport is just over the marina uh, we're south of the airport currently. So, before the mosquitoes start eating my butt up, let's get this going. Oh, let me show you where I'm still at. So, GW Parkway is where I end up doing the video test. This is my B route and then the airport. So all this runs near the airport. This is where I was at last time. And I'm, about, I'm gonna go back over there and do some extensive network testing because I wanna know why N77 is not reaching at this location. But right now we're at the south part of the airport and I, did, I was not on Verizon when I did this test, so now i'm currently on verizon i uh, my uh my viewers informed me that i made a grave error and i'm thankful for them to be able to show hey i made a mistake and i'm humble enough to acknowledge said mistake so um right now verizon is here on the left t-mobile is in the middle at&t is on the right so Right now, Verizon is idling at on band 66. We do have N77, as you can see. And we're getting, getting the full 160 megahertz of N77 at this location. All right. T-Mobile is in standalone N41. We're getting the full 190 megahertz of N41 along with band uh, N25 at 10 megahertz. And AT&T is giving us band 30. And that is currently it until we hit a speed test on them. So, speed test, speed test, speed test. All right, so there is improvement, but uh, it's neck and neck basically between T-Mobile and Verizon right now. AT&T is still showing slight signs of improvement. And N77 is at negative 114. So it's not reaching as far. Let's see what it is for T-Mobile. Negative 91. AT&T is upside down. So they're showing signs of congestion at this spot currently. So, so if I do this video um, live stream through this section, AT&T is gonna struggle more than um, Verizon would. T-Mobile might be the one that holds the live stream due to the fact that it's 53.4 megabits up. AT&T might be able to help more with 21.4 up because you need more upload than download when you are doing a consistent live stream. So, let's see if I can try to block some of that sun out.
All right, so let's do a speed test. Speed test. I can't believe I made that mistake. Speed test. Verizon, T-Mobile, AT&T. T-Mobile is still the one that has greatly more improved at this location. Verizon has starting to catch up. AT&T, not so much. So, T-Mobile at 482 down and 60 up, uh, AT&T at 70 down, 17 up, Verizon at 313, uh, 333 down and 14 up, all right. Fast. Fast. Let's see what we're getting. I chose this spot because it was shady. All right, so T-Mobile's giving the results first. 410 down. Verizon is at 220 down. So because we are on ultra wideband. And AT&T is giving us 32. So 4K streaming will not be a problem if you were at this location at all. Here, let me do this. That person just moved. I wanna be in the shade. Want to be in the shade. Parking mode off. All right, there we go. And the next one we're going to do is imperv. So it looked like Imperv has stopped us from being able to choose what server we we're gonna be on for right now. So we are at the mercy of whatever it chooses for us. One, two, three. Mountain View, Miami, Dallas. So it's shoot, it looks like it's choosing whatever is closest to whatever um, optimum site to the, the carriers themselves. That's what it looked like. All right, so we're blazing through. T-Mobile's almost through the web browser. at and is not far behind or Verizon. All right, 360p, T-Mobile's already working on it. AT&T has lost connection, maybe because I moved, but that drops them out of that. Let's see what the speed test was. So we're just gonna do the speed test while those two finish. All right, 
So Verizon at 258 down, 10 up, 89 millisecond ping. I'd have no control over what server they chose. So the latency is probably not gonna matter as much, but their browsing and streaming is still pretty good. T-Mobile at seven, uh, let's see, 727 down, 87 up, and a 46 millisecond ping. Browsing and streaming is good. And let's see, AT&T was giving us 17 down and like 37 up. So those are the breaks. Let's do this last one. We are going to download directly against each other. PUBG. 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 All right, so install. These are gonna be as close to each other as I possibly can get. I normally do them separate, but there. All right, here we go. 4%, 1, 0%. 13, 11, 1. It's more of a race between Verizon and T Mobile. 27, 32, 2. 40, 44, 3. Oh yeah, the race is between T-Mobile and Verizon. So Verizon has greatly improved at this location per the last time I was here. But they're, they're going back and forth. 74, 79, four. Ninety three, eighty nine, five, one hundred, ninety-five. So Verizon. T-Mobile, AT&T. So Verizon greatly improved here. So that might give them the edge on the streaming test when I get ready to run through this area because I'm going to be doing a drive streaming test through the whole, this through this route. So Verizon is right now looking pretty good. Um, I did go through here initially and just start speed testing along here just to see if Verizon has improved along the route itself. But uh, the questionable spot is at the top of the airport. And I wanna go back there and take a look and see if it's just coverage problem. Was I in the long, wrong location? I've been told that um, the windows in my Tesla can interfere with cellular. So I'm gonna orientate the car towards where I think the antenna is gonna be at give all the advantages to every single signal carrier as I possibly can to see if there's a, a bigger issue. But uh, thank y'all for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Let me know how you feel. Uh, thank y'all for pointing out the fact that I made that mistake. That's why I'm back here again, redoing the video. Um, I gotta come up with a good thumbnail for it. But thank y'all for watching and y'all have a good one.